California on fire again. Just give you an idea what the fuck we're dealing with right now. That is literally like six blocks from my house. No, dude, that's like one, two blocks. Yeah. Like there's a school over there, and that's it. Hello? Hello? Look at that. We're up on the north. No, 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 Dad, I can't, I can't hear anything. My phone doesn't want to be fucking talking to me. Right. Oh, Dad! Thousands evacuated. Horse community coming together to save the horses. Ventura County. Just walked in to get my camera because there was a little bit of flame and now the whole freaking ridge line is on fire. Heading over towards the Edison power plant. And the ridge line to the east is on fire also. This is straight above North Satakoy Avenue. burning right here. Sad, man. These are all houses. Oh, God. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. It's very sad what is taking place. In Santa Paula right now for the Thomas Fire. It's pretty smoky out here, so I'm trying to keep the mask on, but we'll show you what it's looking like right now. Check out those flames burning up on the hillside. Also over here. I, yeah. Um. You ain't so far and reporter <laughs> Jamie Yukas live in Ventura County with a look at the conditions on the ground. Jamie. 31,000 acres have burned, Ann and Kenny, and I can tell you that fire officials tell me that 150 structures, residential structures, have burned. Now, the reason they're using that term and not saying homes is because you can see where that fire line is behind me up on the ridge right there. That used to be, uh, along that hillside, there used to be a 200-unit apartment building. So they really don't know at this point in time just the amount of devastation that has occurred, but 31,000 acres have burned. As you said, 27,000 people have evacuated to two different areas here in Ventura. We know that a local hospital burned to the ground as well. It's been a very changing situation with the winds here. You can go to one neighborhood and embers can quickly spark. Uh, we've seen a number of homes, some in the multi-million dollar range, uh, burned to the ground, uh, just depending on the neighborhood. Now, in this specific spot where we are right now where you can see uh, where that 200 unit apartment building built uh, burned to the ground. There is a neighborhood surrounding it down here. They are very uh, thankful that the fire has not come down the hillside. We talked to one business owner, Chris Wong, who said that this has just been nothing he's ever seen before. It was really super windy and it would kind of die down and then we would go inside and then I'd come out and check and I'd find new fires here and there. And it's kind of scary. I mean, this is a really nice hillside and catch really killer sunsets off it and all that and it's just going to be a charred nasty mess now 
And that's the situation. Firefighters have not been able to get any helicopters up because it was dark and those Santa Ana winds were up to 50 miles per hour. It was just too dangerous to put them up. So we don't know the extent of the da damage right now from these uh, burning fires, but we do know that they're going to be putting four helicopters up shortly as soon as daybreak happens and taking a look at how much damage has been done here in Ventura. Kenny and Ann. Jamie, no, uh, no doubt that there are windy conditions down there. Uh, talk about the what authorities are saying about the possibility of containment of this fire because of those conditions out there right now. Well, I got to be honest, that's the scary part of this situation is usually you see California wildfires uh, able to get contained very, very quickly. Firefighters get a handle on them. Uh, we see the water drops happening. This situation, because of these winds, it is spreading and moving so fast that this fire is currently at zero percent containment, zero percent. So there are still fires that are popping up and burning uh, in other areas. The winds have died down, and fire officials tell me that that's good news for them this morning as they go ahead and try to uh, get those helicopters up in the air. They have a 1,000 firefighters on the ground who have been working throughout the night, so they're going to have to reassess uh, the situation once daybreak happens. But again, 0% containment on that 31,000-acre fire. All right, so what's the New York Times now saying? This was posted 30 minutes ago. Two major fires roared through Southern California on Tuesday and forced tens of thousands of people from their homes in the latest outburst of what has been one of the state's worst fire seasons. The first fire in Ventura County started Monday evening and spread rapidly overnight to envelop at least 45,000 acres, destroying at least 150 structures and prompting 27,000 people to evacuate. The second began Tuesday morning in Los Angeles County and quickly grew to encompass more than 4,000 acres. Both fires were fed by dry conditions and fierce winds. The mayor of Los Angeles said the weather stoking the fire would probably continue for the next five days, though he added that conditions on Tuesday could prove to be the most intense. It's a very difficult moment, but we will get through this. We are a resilient city. We are a strong city. We are a capable city. The first fire, named the Thomas Fire, began north of Santa Paulo, uh, California, and burned its way into the city of Ventura. According to an incident report posted by the Ventura County Sheriff's Office, the blaze spread with astonishing speed. The, by midnight, the fire was estimated to have reached 10,000 acres. No fatalities have been confirmed on Tuesday morning. Thank God. Here we go again. Conditions are not getting any better. They're not going to get any better. Anytime soon, the fire is out of control. Dry conditions, high winds. Forecasts through at least Thursday are expected to significantly expand the affected area. Some people might have been trapped in their homes. Oh my God. Look at that. This is the Thomas fire. In October, more than a dozen fires broke out, pretty much all at the same time. A separate one quickly grew in the Anaheim Hills area, burning through thousands of acres. A month later, or a month earlier, I'm sorry, the La Tuna fire sent smoke billowing into the air. So, Yes, the Thomas fire was fueled by Santa Ana winds. One of the worst he's ever seen. This is getting hard to take. At least 186,000 people were without power in Ventura County on Tuesday. Power failures made it difficult for the 1,100 firefighters working there to battle the flames. 
This is downtown Santa Paula in Los Angeles County. About 700 firefighters and 200 police officers were responding to the fire, named the Creek Fire. Apparently, oh, or approximately, I'm sorry, 2,500 homes were evacuated, smoke causing severe degradation of air quality one that was way worse than a stage three smog alert for those who remember those alerts in California. Those who have asthma or are sensitive to air conditions stay indoors. I could be back in October posting videos. back a couple of months ago posting videos. Feels like I'm reading the same thing. <sighs> Stay safe, everybody. I'm sorry. My default goes to deliberate destruction of more and more homes to accelerate the Agenda 2030 plan of the United Nations to get people to move into the mega regions where they want them in the stack and pack so they can have easy control over all those who survive this destruction. I don't know what else to say. I'm sorry, guys. I am really, whew, this is, this is getting hard to take.